All right, so this past summer, I had the great opportunity to hang out with the Crude Brothers, and we went over to Pink's Hot Dogs in Hollywood. The owners there were so cool, so cool that they let us sample every hot dog on the menu. And so that video in its full entirety is here on Freak Eating today for the first time. So here we go. Looks like we're going to Pink's with Freak Eating. Let's head out. All right, we're at Pink's in Hollywood in Los Angeles. And uh, you can see the, some of the seating area in back. Hi, I'm Gloria Pink, co-owner of Pink's Famous Hot Dogs. Welcome to Pink's. And I'm Beverly Pink, co-owner of Pink's Hot Dogs. Thank you for coming here and putting us in your uh, YouTube. We are very excited. Thank you. All right, we're the Crude Brothers. We're here in LA at Pink's. Uh, we're here with Nader from Freak Eating. And uh, we're thrilled to be here. And uh, the owners of Pink's have uh, set us up with an incredible spread of all their uh, uh, wild and wonderful, amazing hot dogs. So we're gonna just have, we're gonna have a feast festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're basically going to eat like freaks today. <laughs> so as Nader would say, yeah. no BS and no Stalin? <laughs> yeah, I have never seen this many hot dogs, different kinds of hot dogs at one place at one time, so I am thrilled. Well, this is the Brando dog. Okay. This is our legendary, actually our legendary chili cheese dog, mustard, onions, chili, shredded cheddar. Yum. Sounds and everybody great. says our hot dogs snap when you bite into them. Mm -hmm. Do it have the snap? And it's just this wonderful blend of the crunch of the onions and the melted cheddar cheese. And, and actually, our chili is our family recipe chili. So it's the same recipe since 1939. It's delicious. And then, of course, I don't think we need to finish all of them, <laughs> but you could have a taste yeah. of each. We've got that a probably could finish all of them. <laughs> How, am I, how am I going to do this? Here we are, we've got a Ryan Lati dog. You know, okay. he's the uh, the famous Olympic swimmer. Oh, so we said there's huge. two dogs on one bun, and that represents oh, actually that be a Ryan tough one. and Michael Phelps. And there's cheese and fries on there. That's right. The fries represent all the people in the in the you know stadium watching them swim. Pretty tasty, huh? With our melted nacho cheese. Yeah, on top. I, I really like the cheese and the fries actually. What, do you want to start on one? Um, yeah. sure. Um, what is that one? Okay, that is our um, Mulholland Drive dog. Actually, the movie Mulholland Drive was filmed at Pink's. There's a segment in there. So it's got bacon That's a and Lynch grilled film. onions and mushrooms and melted cheddar cheese on top. Well, not one Nacho that, cheese that not on one top. <laughs> That's new, huh? And then, of course, we've got our bacon ranch fries in front of you. Our Fries are made in a convection oven, so they're crispy and yummy. How do you like that, Nick? Good. Good? We've got a Chicago Polish, our version. Chicago Polish with shredded lettuce and Gosh, chopped tomatoes. I don't even know what to try. What do you want to try? Oh, uh, what's this? Okay, that's a Giada dog, Giada de Laurentiis. Okay, I'll, have, I'll try that. Wow. Kind of looks like the Italian flag. It's got it's all the colors, on. green, red. The, the melted mozzarella on top, it's got grilled vegetables. Grilled peppers on an all beef dog. These are all huge. <laughs> We've got a seven inch dog, a nine inch dog, and then our giant 12 inch jalapeno dog. That's excellent. And then, of course, I know Nick tried the uh, Lord of the Rings dog. You like that one? We came here last night, too. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah, this one's really good. And this one here, this is the Martha Stewart dog. She created her own dog. She waited in line about 30 minutes. This one here? Uh, this one right oh, okay. here. What's, yeah. what's on that one? That one has, it has chopped tomatoes, chopped onions, relish, sauerkraut, sour cream, and bacon. That's the Today Show dog. Two dogs on one bun. It's, heavy. it's got mustard, onions, chili cheese, and guacamole.
I'm gonna try yeah, this one. I'm gonna make a mess of myself. Try that one. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a Chicago Polish. And 1939. It was, uh, hot dog stand. Just My was... mother and father-in-law started with just a push cart. Hot dogs were ten cents. Okay. Drinks were five cents, and we had curb service. And today we serve about fifteen hundred to two thousand dogs a day. Wow. Okay. That was gonna be my next question. Yeah, <laughs> and people say they don't mind waiting in line because they can see the hot dogs being made in front yeah. of them, and they can talk to the person next to them. By the end of the line, they're friends. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a great experience. Yeah, I remember being here uh, five years ago, uh, and, and maybe about ten years ago, and the line down the street and That's, to the parking lot. And we're famous for the long lines. It is one of the rare places where you uh, you actually yeah you don't mind standing in line. And we add a new hot dog maybe every, uh, about one a, once a month. Okay, and rotate them? Or a brand new one? A brand new one, brand just new to, okay. to try something okay. new. Okay. You know, so there's always something new to try. This is the Lord of the Rings, if I'm not mistaken. Exactly. Right? Okay. That's what Nick had last night. Now, That's you right. like that a lot, right? <laughs> so we've got the uh, six onion rings and then covered with a scrumptious barbecue sauce. And we say the spicy is so spicy it turns your eyeballs into sprinklers. <laughs> wow. That sounds right up our alley. Right. For what we normally have. Yeah, you guys you guys are spice masters. Are the Polish uh, sausages uh, local or are they from... Yeah, we, we have about five different suppliers okay. for our different dogs. We've got a turkey dog and a veggie dog. So for people who want an alternative to beef, they can have that. Here's Ooh. one of our Ooh. Polish dogs. Now I can't tell. We'll have to see. I think this, is, this might be the spicy one if you're up for it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> see, you see, you can see the chili peppers in the stuffing of the dog. I'll have to try the fries. I'll try regular And there's chili fries for you, right? I'm, I'm excited about the chili fries. I think we had, last night we had the nacho cheese bacon fries. Those were very oh, good. Those are good. And these, these are the bacon ranch ones, right? We can bring out more if you're still hungry. Oh. <laughs> I think we have enough here to attend to this. So that's our uh, pastrami Polish dog. The big challenge, biggest challenge here would be to find a sandwich that isn't great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, let's see. This is the Walk of Fame dog. It's got coleslaw and chopped tomatoes. Everybody says that coleslaw on a hot dog is a southern. I've never had coleslaw on a hot dog. There you go. That's coleslaw on a hot dog right there. It's time. What's this one here? That is our legendary chili cheese dog. That's what made us famous. Okay. Well, I'm going to try that. It's a different combination with the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? It's kind of the cool, refreshing coleslaw and the chopped tomatoes on there. I'm going to have to eat all my hot dogs with coleslaw from now on. <laughs> This Silence is fantastic. Yum. Yes. <laughs> Silence does mean yum. Mm -hmm. Wow.
this right here? Uh, that is our Philly cheesesteak dog. So it's got a steak That's on there, grilled favorite. vegetables. It's got uh, two kinds wow. of cheese on top. I love Philly cheesesteak. So, um, the originators of the restaurant were your parents? Betty and Paul Pink. Okay. My parents. Okay. They started in 1939. The depression was on, money was scarce, and they were out of work. So they thought, what could we do? And they purchased a push cart for $50. And they just rolled it to the site. And when they got here, they said, well, where are we going to plug it in? There were no utilities on the site. So for the first three years, they had to use a 100-yard extension card cord and, and plug it into a hardware store nearby. Okay. Was that was that close to this area? Right here. It was right this here. Very, okay, wow. the very same spot. And how long, how long have you been involved then? Well, I've been involved since about 1985. Okay, okay. Wow. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. Martha Stewart. I love the relish. Yeah. Martha Stewart created that one. Getting yeah, full? <laughs> I haven't Not seen really. this much food anywhere besides a wedding. So that's the Rosie Dog. This is the Rosie Dog. Yep. The Rosie O'Donnell? Rosie O'Donnell. Is it onions, cheese, and chili? Uh, yeah. Chili, some onions, and some sauerkraut on top. Actually, she filmed in Los Angeles, and we served 1,300 hot dogs to her audience. Here is the mushroom Swiss dog. Thank you. So, so Nick, what would you put on a dog that you haven't had? Maybe we can go create a new dog. <laughs> A rose dog. Um, yeah. Um, now you're, now you're, what would now that you're, be? Now you're stretching. <laughs> I'd say probably like a maybe mustard, a mild ghost pepper sauce, and then mild on um, pickled jalapenos on top. Maybe that. What you want? For 12 years old, like you can go for that spice. Wow. Wow. I think when I was 12 years old, I hadn't even had a jalapeno. Wow. Yeah. Very sophisticated taste you yeah. have. <laughs> Of course, they didn't, they didn't, the ghost pepper didn't exist when I was 12 years old. Yeah, there, I have that in my defense. But uh, these guys handle much more spicier things on average than I want to try, so really, really awesome. I just see these guys in person. It's like it's like seeing superheroes up close. <laughs> stuff you guys have eaten. We, we applaud you. We'd say the other way. We'd say the other way. Yeah, we're late. Hmm. It's got a nice kick. Yes. Oh, I love that. The chili is outstanding. Fantastic. Is that a is that a mom and dad uh, chili recipe? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That is very good. Our family recipe. Let me see if there's anything that uh, you still need to try. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you guys are full. She's trying to bury us. <laughs> Buried alive. <laughs> that is our Aussie dog. Oh. Named after Ozzy Osbourne. So, so I like it doubly much then, because I love yeah. metal. Metal is one of my favorite genres. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so and the Aussie dog, we say he's a you know a spicy guy. So have you met him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we yes. have. Oh, In yeah. fact, Sharon Osbourne has also been the pigs. Okay. And so we said he's the big cheese. There's two kinds of cheese: American and nacho. A spicy dog is a spicy guy, so it's you know we say it's the it's a dog that uh, is so spicy it turns your eyeballs into sprinklers. And with the guacamole on, it's pretty tasty, huh? And the Aussie dog is very good. The Aussie dog. Which we one was the Aussie dog? That, this one. This is. Oh. We, you can see the red, we named the Aussie dog when he got his star on the Walk of Fame. Mm. Yeah, I'm full. Yeah, I see mild mannered. Most people would laugh at, at the crazy heavy stuff I listen to when I'm uh, driving in the morning. <laughs> I know I sure do. Aussie um, had the most, the biggest turnout on the Walk of Fame. There was a huge crowd, just gigantic. <laughs> and afterwards, the honorary mayor of Hollywood, Johnny Grant, said, "Oh, you all have to go to Pink's to have an Aussie talk, but we didn't have one on the menu." Oh. <laughs> so I called my husband and I said. We got 300 people coming by. They're gonna want an Aussie dog. What can we do? And he created this dog on the spot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I should this, try that. This 
This one is the American Beautiful. He's the one who got away. Yeah. Wow. So this has jalapenos in the stuffing of the dog. I think this was the one I was gonna order, and it just uh, last night, and I didn't because it was, you know, 12 inch, and like, you know, I got up getting a nine. <laughs> Not quite as spicy. It's flavorful. It's very flavorful. I love that with the jalapenos. Not if you could um, mention some of the things that you've done in the videos and, you know, on your channel. Well, I guess most recently, I, uh, I ate toothpaste and tried to drink two gallons of orange juice. Oh, That's pretty grotesque. Yeah. Oh, toothpaste. Yeah. It was a dare. What friend. flavor? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, a friend, uh, a friend had dared me. Um, the one that blew my mind was the, the two gallons of Pepsi. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's been a campaign to bring back Crystal Pepsi, so to support that, I tried to drink eight liters of, of oh Diet Pepsi. Oh, carbonated drink. So that's performance art. Yeah, I mean, that happens often in the middle. You're like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? <laughs> now, how in the world did you get started? With, uh, oh, um, I was just doing restaurant challenges, and then the guys at Reckless Eating, they just saw some of the stuff that I posted on Facebook and they were just interested. Why don't you come down and try something? Well, you you all find your appetite? Great. It was quite a feast. You, you made a slight <laughs> dent in it. Yeah. <laughs> you did Thank very you so well. Much. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. This was awesome. Definitely did. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to click thumbs up before you go. And subscribe to Freak Eating and the Crude Brothers, because we got some crazy food challenges coming in 2016. Until we eat again, stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak.